as soon as I got the script, the script that I read, um, I, uh, uh, hired uh, I, I hired my husband who's a comedy writer and and we worked on the script many writers worked on this script um, um, and I sort of felt like I was the head writer of a bunch of really great wonderful people because like everybody anybody who had a good idea for a joke best idea won and so the sound guy was like what if you did this I was like yeah I'll take it <laughs> um, but uh, when I got the script one of the things I wanted to do was to really like sp uh, specify what the daughters were doing in their deals and sort of put my female perspective uh, onto the, you know, to the screen. But I started, the first person I cast was, uh, it's fun, it's like a little PowerPoint, I can be like, yeah. <laughs> the first person I cast was uh, Ike. Uh, B Ike Barinholtz and I have known each other for 20 years, we go way back, we did, we improvised in Chicago together. Really? And uh, yeah, we did Boom Chicago in Amsterdam together, I don't know if you know Boom Chicago, it's really great theater. Um, and. Uh, and so he, I thought he'd be perfect. He read the script. He felt the same way. And that was like a no-brainer. He signed on right away. And then um, John. He's perfect. He's, he's really great. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. It's weird for me to say, like, my friend Ike is perfect as Hunter, knowing who Hunter is. <laughs> but but it is, uh, he's, he's so good and so funny in it. And then um, John, I had um, thought he, John was super funny in Trainwreck and Sisters. Um, but it wasn't until I uh, was watching him uh, host the ESPYs, and I felt like, you know what, we had rewritten the character to be a big guy who gets emotional and vulnerable, and in the other movies he's done, it's more been about him being that big, tough guy. So when, when he was doing the monologue at the ESPYs, I was like, oh, he's, like, I'm seeing him a little bit more, and I saw him laugh and be a little bit, like, on a softer side and, like, uh, you know... Um, joking around and, and telling his jokes. And so I emailed the producers immediately. I was like, John should play Mitchell. And then you came in and auditioned. Yep. Um, and yes. John came in and he was like, uh, I've only had five minutes with the material. <laughs> <I'll>, uh, <laughs> um, we'll see how we do. Fresh. This is my impression of you. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, Spot yeah, on. yeah. <laughs> similar to mine. Looks very good. Yeah. And so he, he sat down, and then of course he killed it, and was like amazing, and uh, um, and and so I, I, that was like ended up being a no brainer. And then luckily, I sent the script to Leslie, and she really connected to the material. Uh, she was at the at the time I sent her the script, she was literally dropping off her daughter to college, uh, and uh, whose daughter had moved away to the other side of the country to go to college, and and so she. Like, uh, fingers crossed, I was so happy she said yes. And then the daughters, uh, you guys just straight up auditioned. Mm -hmm. And, like, I didn't, like, Geraldine put herself on tape. And it was, like, the 11th hour. I, I saw hundreds of women for these roles. And, um, and it wasn't until, like, right before we started shooting that I found the three. And, uh, like you know, you were from Australia, so it took us a little bit yeah. to get, like, make sure that she could be there on the first day of shooting yeah. <laughs> and had a visa and everything like that. But, um, yeah, and then I I had a week of rehearsal prior to shooting because I needed the, the three daughters to believe that they had grown up together and were best friends. And so they had they hadn't been in the same room together. And, Man, that first rehearsal where I was like, please have chemistry, please have chemistry. <laughs> like each other. And, like, like each other, please like each other. And they did, like instantly. And they're really close now. And uh, I, was, I was so happy. I, I love this cast. And I, I, I think that they're just really special.